All right, welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Let's Play. I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and just do Claire V, because otherwise I'd only be doing half the story anyway, so why not? And this is the funner freaking story anyways, is Mr. X taunting us and everything. Even though William Birkin is better, it's just with Leon A, he doesn't really make that much of an appearance, so it's kind of boring. But this one, we're going to have Mr. X following us around, so it would be a little bit more exciting as far as facing the main villain throughout the police station and everything. But yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and just do Claire B, because if I didn't, the Resident Evil 2 playthrough would have only been two, or no, not two, would have only been eight episodes. So I figured, let's go ahead and just fuse these things together. So let's get this started. In the midst of the T virus outbreak, now we'll skip this. Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. I'll meet you there. Okay. All right. Well, I wanted to add like some 
quick time event to that. If they if they even do that in the remake, but who knows? All right, well, this is Claire's side of the story. As you can see, we're on the other side of the train or the car explosion, and I have the handgun, and apparently I was carrying around a knife. Of course, Chris did give her some knife training. Oh no, get off me! All right, let me um just walk around you. I actually have not played the um. B scenario nearly as much as I have the A scenarios. So this would be fun. So yeah, you'll probably wreck it. Oh my gosh. Walked right into that one. But you'll probably recognize this room. This is, um... Well, not this, but this is the outside area from that one area that I went into, um, you'll recognize once we go in that room. But when I tried to open the door, I couldn't go out there because two zombies came out. This is that other side. This is where it is. Just gonna run across you, and here it is. All right, so this is basically just the other side of that room. Nothing much to it. So let me, um, yeah, see? And if I try to go back out, Pretty sure the zombies show up again. Oh no. Okay. So Claire gets special treatment in this little scenario. Of course, I guess canon wise, it'd be Leon. Is there a typewriter down here? Yes, there is. So I will take the ammo and I will take the ink ribbon. Alright, there we go. Got all that. The heck was that? Not sure what that just was. All right, cutscene. I know there's about to be a cutscene where they drop off Mr. X. I gotta get past this. Go around you. Get around that. Oh no! All right, now the cutscene. Couple, the last few cops remaining are all going to die. Hey, get over here! Hurry! I can't sit her down. I'll drop you on a rope ladder. Grab onto it. Come on, just a little more. Get off me! Stay back! Don't come any closer! And that's how that explosion happens. So now I'll go in here and we will immediately get another cutscene. Or no, no, no. That doesn't happen until I get the wheel. Never mind. Have any ammo on him? Oh, come on now. I'm just here for the ammo that he's packing. Can I unlock that door real quick? Oh my god. Let me use this real quick. Alright, let me get back out. Alright. Ten minutes into the video, alright. Let's see. Got the liquor, but I don't really want to shoot you with the handgun. Yeah, Claire gets a freaking bow. But I left the machine gun for her. Alright, so we got Secretary's Diary. Same thing that it was before. So, not much with that going on. Got some more handgun ammo. I will definitely take that. 
take these ink ribbons and then off to the police station I go. Where's the zombies? Lower the ladder. But do I need to go down there yet? I don't think I do. Because I actually think I can go this way. Alright, let me kill this guy. Hang on, somebody at the door. Somebody was at the door. Get rid of these zombies real quick. Clear this hall up. Alright, I think he's. Nope. Ah, load! Alright. If I'm not mistaken, that little amulet that I found in that room should. Oh god! Wow. I didn't realize there's a freaking party over here. I'm just gonna do this the faster way and just pull those. Oh god. Come on now, you're both supposed to fall at the same time. Yes, alright. It was over here just as I suspected. So I can go back down this way. Alright, so this, see, this is the stuff that's kind of weird, and honestly, this is why, in a way, it will be kind of nice to see the scenarios not make an appearance again, is the inconsistencies. This is um, player B. So it's supposed to be in connection with Leon A. However, in Leon A, um, Leon finds that little metal right there with the unicorn on it in the star's office room. And yet, here we have Claire finding it up in the upstairs area right here in the main hall. I know it's just the game's limitations, but fun little inconsistencies all right now I got that key can I unlock this door from this side or is it even locked yeah it's locked Leon's already been through here so I will Alright, I don't know which... Alright, what am I saying? I can go up here. Let's see if that herb's still hanging around here. Is it in here? Yes. I will take the herb. Anything else? Nope. All right, I'll leave you guys alone. Don't want to mess with you guys. All right, so that door's electronically locked. Leon needs to get it together. Why have you not unlocked these doors? I did it when I was Leon. I don't know why he ain't done it. All right, so I guess I gotta go up this way and do it. Are the zombies not up here anymore? Oh. What was that? Thought I put this on silent. Let me throw that over there. 
All right, so I gotta go through the door I came from. But what? Because I can't go through any of those doors, so this is the last door that remains. Wouldn't you know it, I picked the absolute last door. I heard zombies. So I'll just go through here and... What time am I at? 15 minutes? I wanted to cut a little bit of that though because I had to pause it. Oh, that's the liquor. I don't want to... Oh, wait. Duh. I know where to go. I gotta go in that little area that I unlocked and it will take me to the office room. That's it. So I gotta do that. Run down here. Go through here. And I believe that is where the wheel is going to be. They moved my wheel. Grab these herbs. Oh crap, I need to combine this. Running out of space here. And unfortunately I will not have the extra space come time to use that. I'm just going to use one of these. Go ahead and put me in fine health. Oh, dang it. Oh well. I'll just combine these then. <clears throat> now, I think the wheel is in here. I think it is. If I'm remembering this all correctly. Alright, what you got on you? Alright, I got that. Come out here. Yep, there it is. That's the wheel I need, and then... Is there anything else in here? No. Even if there is, it's not like it really matters. I can't grab anything at the moment. So I'm just going to go do the wheel. And when I do, we will meet Mr. X as soon as I finish doing that. A little cutscene happens, he drops it off, and then there's a bunch of other tanks, but... They drop that off somewhere else, and I think, um... I want to say they drop it off at some facility or some plant or something like that. And all those tyrants, all those um, Mr. X's kill a bunch of SWAT members or something like that. Go back this way. Hurry. See, I like that detail. The, the windows are broke, the crows are all in here. You know Leon's been through here. So let me go put out this fire once again. We also get to meet the sadis very sadistic and creepy Chief Brian Irons in this one. And I, I really wonder if in the remake we'll actually get to see and interact with the mayor's daughter at all. Or if she's just going to be a dead body on the mm -hmm. desk again. Alright, let me go over here and see if there's any ammo. Oh, a grenade launcher. I don't have that yet. Still a grenade launcher? Okay, well, I'll have to come back. Hope I, hopefully I can remember. And now the cutscene for Mr. X. See all those other tanks, they get dropped off at some plant or something like that and they kill a bunch of SWAT members based on what I've read. Where'd the tank? Oh wait, it's split. Never mind, never mind. Ah. <sighs> What are the odds that they would drop a tank with a giant tyrant right where I was? What are the odds? Didn't like going that way anyways. Um, combine. All is well. Let me just go ahead and Fall! Oh man. And I'll never be able to get that ammo. Man. 
Shouldn't take but like one or two more handguns. Oh, come on. What does it take to knock you out? I could run around, but I wanna take what all these goodies are. I don't know if it was worth it though. Huh? Anything else stacked on you? Now, unlike Nemesis, I don't think he actually um, gets back up until I leave the room. Even the crows got out of here. All right, so what did I get? I got that. Okay, never mind. I just put out the helicopter fire. He's so relentless. But yeah, see, this is why I like Mr. X in this game. You see him more often. I mean, we just started this. This is the first episode with Claire, and we already are running into Mr. X just like that. I'm going to go ahead and save since I'm at 21 minutes right now. Go get the... Oh, I already have the ink ribbons. So I'll save this, and this, this will be the first episode for Claire B. Alright, well, I will see everybody for the next episode. Until then, see you around.